Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing our Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon gameplay experience. Last time we had just an absolute blast. I don't I don't remember there being anything like severely out of the uh, anything out of wonky except for maybe a few of the ah oh, you have to make it through this like kind of platforming challenge segment to the hermit's little cave that was a little wonky but not terrible especially because like it, it just everything feels so nice in this game the character designs are nice the gameplay is nice the platforming is interesting because we can kind of sort of fly hover it's just very cool last time we woke up after three years and, like, no idea why nobody else came to wake us up. It had to be the, the dark evils of the universe to wake us up and then chain us for the mandatory co-op gameplay tether. Like, because... I don't know. Hunter should have known where we were back with the epilogue in Eternal Night. But then again, maybe that was the Chronicler's, like interpretation of him coming along to find us at the beginning of this game so who knows but yeah the evils woke us up and tethered us and put us on a platform for some reason either it is uh don't think about it too much we just needed to get you back in the action or maybe there will actually be a reason for it we'll have to wait and see maybe they needed spyro and cinder to awaken the golem which is currently attacking warfang city which Still don't entirely know why Ignitus and the others took all the dragon eggs to, like, the sanctuary. Or maybe, like, the sanctuary is where they typically keep the dragon eggs instead of the major fortified city that apparently still stands years later. But, wiggly wiggly. Uh, Hunter's people came in to <laughs> try and attack the evil army, even though they're, like, five people. Kind of interesting. <laughs> like, they had trouble defending their settlement against, like, handfuls of flyers. And like, yes, we will partake in war. But, uh, we finally made it to Warfang, which apparently is manned more by mole people than actual dragons. Although we did see the guardians, like, uh, strafing the battlefield before the golem took over. And last we left off, Hunter said, you two should go and stay safe. And obviously, because these are two do-gooders who must help, decided, nah, we're going to go do something. So let's go see what that something is. Attack of the Golem. Continue story mode. But there is chapter select. Ooh. Oh. So that's how many levels there are? Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> this is like this feels like a lot bigger than other ones, but we can go back and replay levels. It seems. I wonder if it like is it automatic new game plus if we go back to previous chapters if we keep everything, or if it's just like it updates to the latest. Where basically, like, if you get everything in the catacombs and then replay Twilight Falls, it'll just say, oh, you got everything in catacombs, so you have everything in Twilight Falls. I don't know. Uh, we might try that sometime, but we are going to continue the story mode. And see about destroying that there golem. And see if I can remember combat. Definitely want to... Change so I can. Oh, <laughs> did not expect that. Get feared, idiot. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it's just, it's not even trying to kill us, it is just tail whipping us by seemingly accident. <laughs> I mean, that's a little mean. Ow. Have to peek. I do kind of like it, though. It's kind of it's kind of neat that we have to pay attention to what the giant golem is doing. 
Even if I do think it's a little funny how it is conveniently killing us. Ah, now we can push it. Ow! Cutscene power to the max. I got hit because of the cutscene. Get feared. That was close. I wonder, can I grab these guys while they're feared? Nope. Just wanted to try. Oh, hey, the health thing actually uh, respawns, it seems. Normally, it's just the breath ones that do that, I think. Ow. Rude. Double rude. <laughs> just gotta <laughs> remember, we travel through dodging. We should be kind of safe here. Push down the wall. We will aid the golem in the destruction of the land. Hey, Cyril! That's the first thing you say after meeting us after all this time. Not sure that's how Ice Breath works, but still cool. Still gonna get slapped, though. Huh. For a moment I thought it was gonna slap Cyril. Instead, I just slapped the bridge. Is everyone okay? No, I'm not alright. Did you just see what happened to Cyril? <laughs> oh, the, he did get smacked. <laughs> He'll be fine. I totally did way more damage to him during the actual war. I wonder why we go so slow up steps. Maybe because we're dragons, we have to take it very slowly. Very carefully. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello! Thank you for joining me here tonight. And let me quickly check and see. It's been a bit since I looked at my elements. So I should look at my elements. Uh, do we have enough to unlock the full power? Or are we just going to barely be below? We're barely below again! Pain. Now let's see. How about you? We're way away from fire. Is there anything other that we want to level up? We leveled up electricity. Ooh, we've created a snowstorm. I guess we'll begin unlocking ice, and then we'll focus on fire. I really should play more as Spyro, get his experience up. Again, it's hilarious how much damage the golem's doing without even trying to us. Oh, that didn't really sound like Voltier. Maybe he's just very exerting right now. Ah, fear. The best status effect. It allows me to annihilate my foes. How dare you avoid my fearing. Die now, monster. Again, I really enjoy that the... Like... The golem is just doing major work in the background. It really makes everything, like, feel big. Big and terrible. Another reason fear is nice, these guys can't uh, break out of my combos as easy. I try to combo them, they're like, ah, but we're big guys. We don't care about <laughs> your combos. Ah, but then when they're feared, they just die. Especially because they're big guys and I can't just... Oh, Jesus, the, the golem. I lost sight of the golem, immediately went for war against me. Especially because these guys are just following. One of these days I'll have to use the fury power. But I'm just like, it feels like it takes a, a longer while to save up and get the fury power in this game compared to the past one, so I don't want to use it frivolously. Which means that I'll forget that it exists. Alright, one thing that I haven't really talked on, but I find really cool, the battle damage on the enemies. That's actually really neat. That you just, like, combo enemies and then slowly they're 
model gets whittled away. It's just, it's neat. But we need to be careful. We want to, we need to look for secrets. In fact, speaking of secrets, wait for, this thing going to bust out? Oh, Voltaire, I guess, because electricity. Voltaire. Good on you, buddy. Hopefully there was no secrets in that. Ba -ba -da -ba. That arena. Because I was just going to look. Uh, we have one armor, one health, one stamina for this level. It's heading for the upper part of the city. Well, there's the armor. <laughs> the inhabitants. You mean these dragons that we've only... <laughs> only those random dragons that we've seen for the first time. I feel like this is another cinder. Helmet. Yep, new armor for cinder. I do like, though, that even though it's the same model, like for the dragons, not the armor. Let's see. Uh, increased chance to combo. Increased elemental da attack damage. Hmm. Wounds attacking enemy. Increase attack speed. I prefer that. Oh, poisonous hit. Sure, I'll take that. I'll take that set bonus. There are set bonuses? And I was unaware. Meanwhile, Spyro, unable to get a set bonus. Neat. Oh, we're not even going to go through a door. I thought we were like, oh, do we have to go through the door? No, the answer is no. But yeah, like I was saying before I got distracted... Very cool that we actually see non, like, character dragons. Just, this is supposed to be, like, War Fang. A dragon city. Okay. Wrong button. Interesting. Ah, double interesting. So it's kind of like a... Huh. So it seems to be like a, a puzzle, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I need to attack his hand to... Or maybe we attack his legs. Nope. So I just feel like we have to do something to make him stop breathing at us. But I don't know what the game wants of me. Oh, he does have a health bar, but I'm uncertain of exactly what it wants me to do. Maybe I can blast? Nope. Health bar has appeared. Ah, there's dark crystals on his hand. But the moment I go towards it, it's like, no, no, no. Hmm. Dang it. Here we go. Ah, this is probably it. We were trying to fly too much when we're supposed to be smickety smacking his hand. Ah, I dodged too late. Gotta dodge back in and smickety smack his hands. I do like, though, that this guy came back considering that we didn't beat him last time. Ah, uh, this is the big one. It drains all your breath magic. Ah, but we did... <laughs> went down so much faster than the invasion pillars. Hey, Terrador, you gonna come and smack him? Okay, that's cool. Oh, did he just go through it? Or did he? I don't know. Still looks cool. Ah, 
And now he's on fire. Surely he can't be dead. Surely. Oh, nope. Game is not ready for me to go down here, so we have to continue our fighting on the middle platform. Luckily, we take no damage from his breath. We're just built different. Terrador is just a little bitch. I am very gr glad that Spyro doesn't take damage. That would have annihilated him. This is the legend of Cinder. <laughs> she does all the fighting. You'd think that you'd just, like, destroy the entire building we're in. Well, then again, you're kind of halfway there, but still. Take that, man. It's just amusing to me. These big old master dragons. Incapable of taking down this golem. <laughs> Spyro and Cinder, on the other hand. Totally can. Give me back my... My breath magic, you jerk. Ah, dang it. <laughs> like, the chanting is so dramatic for this battle. Oh, dang it. Not what I wanted. Yes, game, I want to get back to the normal place. Oh, hey. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Was that just a delayed hit or what? Come on, break again so I can smack your temple. Man, you just... I don't know why, he's like... If his hand is his weak spot... Well, why aren't you using the cathedral hand, come to think of it? Like, that has no dark crystal. Smack me with that one, but then again, maybe you're just a dumb golem. But... Do you... <laughs> You're a very weird golem. There we go. It's like it took damage. Like, fine, I fly away or I climb away now. Hello, hello. We are currently bullying the golem who is like one-shotting all of our guardians. Cyril got smacked, and Terador got lit on fire. And now Ignitus is here to get bodied, I guess. It's a fire- it's like a lava golem. I don't think you're gonna be doing much, Ignitus. Boom! Instantly bodied. The only one left is Voltaire. <laughs> At this rate, why didn't you guys just leave it to us? We had it solved. If we don't stop it now, it will destroy everything. All right, I'm with you. Why? Why do I keep going along with this? Because you love your brother. Also, I hope that like, uh... whoop, Jesus. One second, I just wanna. Look up here. Not much. Ow. Now I definitely... <laughs> Whoop! At least now it's using its cathedral arm. Uh, do we actually smack that? I don't... <laughs> I went too fast. Oh, we actually do. Even though it has no dark crystals on it. If, like a frickin' Tonfa just elbows the ground. You can barely do even a full combo on that arm. 
Dang it, now I'm too far away. All right, jerk. I'll definitely need to go and get a heals. Come on, lower down so I can get those heals. I'm here for heals. Let me get them. All right, we'll come back down to the ground. Oh, oh, because it's a drag. It, it wasn't finished with its animation. Extra weird one that. Final swap to Spyro this time. I wonder what that move even is. Uh, yeah, you're doing the drag. All right, that's mean. Yeah, this looks like the drag. Oh, ah, it actually super smacked him. Oh, quick time event. Oh, we hop back on. He's trying to shake us off. He doesn't even have jaws anymore. That was close. I don't think I've yet to fail a uh, quick time event, but I can only presume it might lead to instant death. Are you gonna headbutt the ground, my dude? Now we're just gonna so reveal your your little piddly mohawk. Super careful. Oop. All right, so I need to be extra careful about the flat hand slap. The flat hand is uh, when he follows up, and that's dangerous. Well, I keep forgetting now that he has Lava Plume Mohawk Attack. Yeah, I need to be careful because that comes down with an extra slap. Oh, nope, he decided not to this time. I need to be extra careful with Cinder because she has no health. That's the elbow drop. I keep forgetting about the lava plume. Alright. We're whittling him down. <laughs> As someone who hasn't been watching the uh, the last few streams, has only played Spyro 1, since when was this uh, Metal Gear Rising? Uh, pretty much this one. <laughs> this is so far the one that's gone the craziest. There were a few other, like, uh... We fought a train in the first game. Oh, I... And I think I died. We'll have to reset. Because I misclicked. Darn it. Misclicks. At least it wasn't like an instant death. I keep forgetting about the lava plumes. They just get in the way of my... Combo attempts. Alright, the fact that I can, like, 
go from flying and dodge onto the land. That's actually cool. I almost got it. They did put the... Oh, that's the drag. That's the drag. Don't want it. We don't have much breath magic. That's the drag. Don't care about it. Okay, I need to be careful about this one. Oh, there we go. Secondary time. Need to be careful. X. And da-da! Dodge! It seems to be, uh, like, relegated to two buttons, at least. Oh, dang it! I messed it up again. <laughs> right as I said, it's relegated to two buttons. Surprise! Relegated to third button. Dang it, right as I went to get heals, it decides I die. I do think that's a little annoying. It comes from nowhere. Really, they should have just put the healables on the bottom diddly dee. That's the only thing that's bothersome about it. Is like. Very hard to get to the heals. Huh, okay, we can actually go under his arm. I thought that it would be a, a full on, like, blocked thing. Dodge away. Ah, the lava plumes. <laughs> they annoy me. Because it's mostly hard because... Like, it's like, oh, they'll come for you, but where? Where will they come for you? And like, ones like that, you hardly get any time to do anything. That's the drag, don't care. Just need to be extra careful. I wish that the fire plumes that land, like, near him would damage him, or at least, like, the cathedral arm at the very least the normal arm I can understand like it's his natural lava arm but the cathedral ah the cathedral that nah, shouldn't be a uh, immune to lava give him health back All right, now back to the quick time event. First, dodge. He tries to shake us off. And then super reaction dodge. The fact that it still keeps going after it speeds up again always spikes my anxiety. All right, now be very careful. Which button is it that it wants me to press? That button. Gotcha. That... Is it just... <laughs> Alright, just kind of like blue, but this one much more violent. Gameplay went sleepy. Cutscene... Fell to its death. Like Gaston. We did it, Spyro. We saved the city. Oh, hey, he's not dead. What about Terador? He had the most death-looking fall. It's been three years, and you that's the first thing you have to say. Really, it's Hunter. He didn't free us. At least according to the epilogue of Eternal Night. 
is that you are here. And what's more, you've returned with your companions. Well, it's not like I've really had much of a choice in the matter, seeing as how we're stuck together. Interesting. And this device is foreign to me. It's made by the dark peep, like the dark ma master evil people. I do find it amusing that it disappears a lot. It has the mark of evil. Likely crafted by Malifor himself. Ah, so that is why it was called Mount Malifor. What? But there has to be a way. Kill Malifor. I mean, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, exactly. Do not view this chain as a hindrance, but allow it to be a reminder of the bond you two share. And all the internet shipping that will follow. Yeah, because funnily, if they didn't chain him together, the Dark Master probably could have separated them and kidnapped Cinder to torture her to be evil again. But instead, it just like makes it so they cannot leave each other. Perhaps this victory will mark a turning point in this war. I'd like to believe that. Oh, great! <laughs> Telepathic dark crystals. Why do you want to end the world? Ah. Volcano. Oh, is, is that an even bigger golem? It's an even scarier golem. But why, though? Okay, evil destruction kaiju. That's impossible. Ignitus, I don't understand. Nor do I. Great. Hey, Chronicler, what do you think about this? See, that sounds like a good thing. By issuing its destruction. Oh. The beast moves too quickly. We can't possibly catch up with it. What do you mean? You fly, it's walking. Then we shall wait for it to come back and intercept it before it completes its circle. We must Why not try to like intercept it on the way it's going? It is our only hope of getting into position in time without allowing Malifor to know of this. Oh, that's also true. But I mean, what's one city for the world, you know? At the very least, this one's this game's story is setting up the most, like, the most, like, uh, what's the word? Like, flow, pacing, and story. Open the gates of the ruins of Warfang. So this, that wasn't even the full, like, city of Warfang? Place the crystal key in... In the crystal, in the dragon statue, to activate it. All right, so we need a key. I think. Also, I just realized we did not find a single, like, bonus thing. Aside from the armor, which was just laid out for us, we didn't find the health or stamina bonuses of the the golem level. Doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, nope, there is things that way. Let's see. There is a hidden guy, two armors, three of each. All right. Hmm. Uh, 
No, no, no. We're going to fall down and get this crystal. See, Cinder had the right idea. Speaking of that. Let us see. Let's max out our fear. Now our siren scream will be untouchable. I guess next thing we'll start upgrading our poison, since I think that unlocks other things. Meanwhile, for you... Eh, eh. We're gonna finish off level 2 ice. Spyro, look at this. It's a purple dragon mural. Whoa. Somehow the paint survived all these years. The first purple dragon. Look at this place. The ancestors must have trained him here. We have such high hopes. Is this the... Well, it's a... Uh, I don't... Is it a crystal key? Is that what it could be? Because we can't really fly with it. It's like uh, one of the adamantine balls. Hmm. The problem is I'm... Hmm. We have to open up multiple things. Like, at the very least, so long as we don't, like, uh, put the final thing in the... Well, I was trying to think, like, uh, as long as we don't put the final, like, uh, ba ba ba. I think that just annihilated them. Get annihilated, idiots. <laughs> it actually feared some of them inside the hole. Oh, come on. These are tr like uh, ape skeletons. We can just annihilate them. We'll get a little bit of that. As well as get more of this. But I had thoughts about yeah. So long as we don't activate the final dragon statue, I think we should be able to explore this place to our heart's content. But again, I really like the vibes of this game so far. Ah, uh, that's where we place the adamantine ball, I presume. Oh, never mind. Then we come over here, and Spyro will ferry us across. I really like this mechanic. It just really fits. <laughs> You're gonna... <laughs> skeleton guy. <laughs> gonna make an issue for us. Well, we were gonna come here anyway. Because there's memory crystals to destroy. Oh, the memory crystals. Al, very rude. I destroy your wall with a blast. How very rude of you. <laughs> Random ape monster ghost skeletons. I also do like it that they're like, hey, you can climb, but why climb when we can just fly? We have done it your way, but now we do it my way, the bird way. We will fly. I got this. We'll gather up all the skeletons. And then just obliterate some of them. And you guys are 
Ah. Become feared beyond fear. I fell beyond falling. Before we do anything else, we shall destroy that. Now come over here and get that health upgrade. Well, piece of it. I do like the little uh, you have attained an upgrade sound. It's actually quite nice. Landing's a bit difficult. But more memory crystal! Ah! So this is basically what I needed the entire time. We will scare these tuning forks into submission. That's like half of a bridge, so we need to go back and get the adamantine ball. Huh, we're just <laughs> cruising into the sky. But yeah, the feel of this game is just so good. Makes me so sad that, like, in, a, in some ways, I kind of wish that this was like a... Kind of, sort of, the first game. Like, or at least this is the kind of gameplay and aesthetic the first Legend of Spyro gave. Because, well, darn it, now I have to go back and get another ball. Guess it's on me, but still, rude. I thought it would be permanent, how dare. Because we need this to be able to bring the adamantine ball across, since we cannot <laughs> fly with them. But note to self, do not actually put it on the bridge. Oh, hey, that's neat. I don't even need to let go of it. <laughs> but I wonder, like, in a... Like a united Spyro canon kind of theory way, where each of the, like, Spyro games would fall... Because, obviously, like, uh, Malifor has to be, like, the first purple dragon. So, but I wonder, like, how many purple dragons, like, I don't know. Please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold. Do we really have to go back to the surface? I, it might be safer down here. I highly doubt that it is safer down here. Again, it's so weird to hear Wayne Brady speak for Sparks. That's kind of disturbing. Oh, hey, it's like one of those guys that broke uh, through the 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 the, the, bubba -da -ba. and it's destroying the, the it swiped the crystal. How dare! Oh, hey, I know that sound effect. At least I think I do.
Let go of that crystal now, young man. Get feared, please. Now that's just mean. At least it doesn't send out a shockwave. Again, like... The battle damage enemies take are cool. It's just neat. Die and give me my breath power back. But just... Was... This had to have been made by Malifor. Because it's the same, like, crystal serpent like, containment device. Huh. Interesting. A little disappointing that we can't go further, but huh. Why is it sucking? Well, now I'm intrigued. Oh, so it'll transport us. And kind of give us an overlook of the place that we just came from, as well. Kind of be like, did you do everything that you wanted? Looks like it. Interesting. Huh, very cool. But now I want to explore this area, because more to explore. Yeah, but at the same time, I wonder if that will... If I wonder if that breath, like, uh, air thing will just take us back? Or if it'll take us to a new area? New area it is! Huh! Let me just glance around, because we... De uh, de I'm a fool. Luckily, we can fly back. I'm going to guess that we push this down elsewhere. Oh, very neat. Drain a swing. Use your elements to destroy obstacles. <gasps> we can turn him into a wrecking ball! Ha <laughs> ha! That's cool! All right, let me just get the proper power. That is hilarious. That's such just such an innovative thing to do. Like, we need to justify keeping the player and their co-op partner next to each other. Let's turn it into, like... A full-on gameplay mechanic. Which I do appreciate. I do like that it wasn't just an excuse. It has a full-on tangible, like, gameplay effect. Oh, dang it. A little mean to throw flying obstacles at me. So there's timing to this. Okay, that one falls. That one also falls. Hup. Have to do this. Huh, weird that this one goes down so far. Ah, hey. Smiggity schmack. And now Spyro's breath power is encrusted. Hmm. Huh, so it kind of looks like we can just go down here, drop down. All right. So we need to do the uh, wrecking ball again. Yeah, sure, zombie skeletons get feared. 
I also like that ones that are dead don't have the like the the fear icon. Oh, dang it, wrong button. Oh, I need to Aha. Now whose armor will this be? Or as I call it, a dragon lingerie. I presume Spyro. But I do like that they actually make so much use of it all. Let's see. Regenerating health. Might be nice. Increased fury power, but we haven't really used it all that much. So far, my only, like, semi-major complaint is the restricted uh, camera control. But even then, that's only occasional annoyance, rather than vastly evil I hate. Dang it. There we go. Spider Cinder, Spider Cinder. She will be the ultimate winner. Spyro came in like a wrecking ball. Oh, nip. Because, yeah, we still fall back down to the normal area. Hey, hey, I saw down here. How dare you try to trick me. I have eyes. You cannot fool me. And uh, what we were... Upgrading next. Uh, we are upgrading you next. Ah, element is now slightly upgraded more. What, are you going to use that crystal to become a big skeleton? Again, it's kind of creepy. Oh, <laughs> well, that was easy. If I wanted, I could just get out of here. I wonder if they'll just keep coming. Or if we can kill them all. I'll put that here. So that we can better guard it. <laughs> nope. We defeated them all. I also enjoy the music. It's not as, like, standout, usually. I don't see, like, any other... Like, hey, you should have... You motherfucker, I now see it. I see it now. Well... Fine. I saw another health upgrade. And luckily, I think we should be able to get through relatively easily. It's mostly this, like, uh, not platforming section that should prove to be a little bit wobbly. Whoop. Because now I just need to guesstimate where the secret was being kept. I think it was beneath here. Again, being able to have, like, full control of the camera would be nice. Because it presented it somewhere kind of deeper along. Aha, there you are. Not as deep along. 
Health upgrade for Spyro. Huzzah. And I'll smash this because I can. What the hell? <laughs> I went way up into the air and I do not know why. But I do like that it kind of gives you a, hey, here's a potential look at uh, any secrets you might have missed, which is admirable. Awaken the dragon statues. Which is just a fancy way of saying, unlock this goddamn door. No idea why Cinder bounces up through the air when she hits a target. Hmm. I wonder, is this a thing I can climb on? Does not look like it. We need to use our fly around ability to just get a good look at places. Because apparently we can go along, but I also saw. I saw this. Which means there could be more things. And more things means more discoverings. Glance around, see, hmm. So we can go even further, but there's a bunch of moss that we can use to climb. All right, come fight me, hooligans. Get obliterated. And Spyro decided to stay down here and not fight. Oh, the mighty purple dragon. Stamina stone time. Spyro getting all the upgrades. I wonder where this is leading. This is why we gotta explore. We find secrets. Interesting. Ah, there's a shadow door. The question is, how do we get to that, sh to these shadow doors? Can't go that way. Hmm. Once again, if I could see further, but it doesn't seem like it would help. Hmm. But there was... Wait. Another... Ha. Huh. Always grab these. But I'm intrigued... Because it's like a... Seems to be a multi-tier puzzle. Regarding the shadow doors. Hmm.
But I don't see an immediate... Aha! Darn it. Which potentially leads to... some wonkiness. We'll have to see. Because the problem is, it seems to be like a, hmm, how will you solve this? But if it's too much of a mystery, it could be very annoying to solve. I'm going to assume that, like, hmm, because... It can't be that it wants me to go through the waterfall. The camera wasn't accommodating to that. So I'm not sure... Like, what else it would want from me. Because it's shadow door, shadow door. And then it goes around, so... Because hmm, we have to begin on this side, then, because... These cranks are here, and it also begins... With, like, a... A ba ba ba. Hmm. And this wall looks different on the other side, but I'm not sure... Ah! Uh, oh. It had a little glowy, so I thought, like, oh, is this a, 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 a like, a, a doohickey? And it doesn't look like it's a destroyable wall. Hmm. Because I think the waterfall is the exit. Because we begin here, it seems. Is there anything above? Doesn't seem to be, so it doesn't seem to be a drop-in. But at the same time, maybe... Uh, well, because there will obviously be a second layer, so I'm going to hold off and assume that the second layer of this area will hold secrets. Presumably. That is going to be my presumption. That the second layer, after we get the first crystal key for this area, will then show us where to go. I presume a Spyro helmet. Oh, for Cinder, huh? Did not look like a Cinder helmet. Increased chance to combo. Huh. Interesting. Because I thought that was... Oh, no, it was this one. Yeah. Increased defense. Wounds attacking enemy. Immune to stun! Ooh. I think I like that. Immune to stun? Hell yeah. I like being immune to stun. I'm not sure if I've even been stunned yet. But, uh, any chance to negate stun is a hell yeah. Oh, hey, one of you again. Oh, <laughs> you did a big old spin and you didn't even hit me. Oh. Hello, mole man. Scream all you want, it won't save you from this damage. I'm, I'm just super glad that it doesn't do uh, an AoE. How dare. This is very mean. You and your trumpets. Your brass section. Again, I, I wish that the camera focused on him more. So I could actually tell. But oh well. Oh, he died. I could have been farming more breath power from his corpse. But his death animation and his living animation, I didn't know the difference. Well, that's odd. I see a blinky light in the distance. I'm going to assume that you're just a graphics thing. Well, let's activate the torches.
Maybe this... Who knows? Maybe this will... Well, that's interesting. I have to do more braziers! More torches! <laughs> from the YouTube chat, no way I came across this. Many good times playing on PlayStation 1, the original. I was one away from finishing uh, for the life of me. I couldn't get the last one to finish the game. Hmm. I myself have been very enjoying this here trilogy. It's been very fun so far. Eternal Night was kind of cruel in some places, but... Eh, still better than some of the other lesser Spyro games. Alright, now we just need to... Place Spyro in the proper places. How the hell am I going to get that one? Oh. Apparently I did it. I am a miracle worker. I thought we'd have to blow on him a bit more, but hey. I like ease of use. Remember, it's always better to make things a bit easier rather than overcomplicate them for the sake of difficulty. And I'm glad that the game was like, hey, let's make it just a little bit easier for the player to light all the torches. So there's less agony. I'm always down for less agony in my video games. Are we going to be hounded? <laughs> the skeletons, are you back again? There you are, skeletons. I shall blast you away <laughs> with my siren scream. And then beat up you. It's still kind of dark that, like, all of the apes are dead. Like, d did Spyro annihilate them all? Or did they get what the, they're just desserts for helping Malifor return? Because, yeah. I think I got everything on the lower level. It's just that little puzzle diddly D with the shadow gates. For that health upgrade. But I am just really enjoying these games. There's another Shadow Gate. Let's see. Didn't really need to do that. Get destroyed, ape ghost skeletons. That I can't grab. I just realized it's been a bit... Well, been a bit. Doesn't help that I paused... Uh, I stopped, basically, the, the place that I stopped streaming last time led to, like, the perfect place to run out of grabbable enemies. Whoa. Ah, an electricity thing. I almost missed you, electricity thing. Huh. Okay, so it's a temporary. So it's part of a puzzle to get to a keyhole. Interesting. Oh! Okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> was not expecting that. Why do I get the feeling that spike wall is going to start churning? Oh, hey, because it is. Like, I knew that wall was different. Didn't expect it to be... It, granted, it's very slow, but still. I think it's picking up speed. Why is this in the Dragon City of Warfang? They're like, yes, we shall kill intruders. Yeah, because we have to head back anyway. Apparently the game doesn't want us to go back. Or can we? Now it looks like we have to fly all the way back to the crystal statue. Which again, I really like the design of it. With Malifor's apparently signature crystal snake just tether binding. 
What? Oh! You are the secret boss enemy of this game, of this area. Okay, was not expecting that. Huh. Okay. He had green, so... Either poison or, but probably... Earth. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it does want poison. Oh! It did want poison! Hey, hey, Cinder! The game wanted you to do things. Alright, explosions. Definitely get away. Looks like he's gonna do a spin, damn! Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Well, maybe not a lot, a lot. <laughs> like, the hit indicator thing felt like it did a Felt like it was, like, more dangerous. I don't know. It's a big old boss enemy. It's scare. It scares me. More green. We need more breath power. Maybe he's glitched. Can we just beat- I think I glitched the hidden boss enemy. The glory for me. Take this, boss guy. We're gonna take away your shins. I'm gonna let Spyro get the experience from killing you. Silly man. And honestly, thank God, because you are taking a lot of damage. You are a spongy man. Maybe if I use my power? Oh no, I broke him out of his... his... Oh wait, no, he just died! What?! How'd he die?! What?! <laughs> what?! I think the game was like, oh, he's stuck, he's just gonna die eternally fine. Give it to him! <laughs> okay! That is immensely amusing to me. Hmm. I'm just going to start building up his flame. It's going to take a long time. Then again, I should just play more as Spyro. If I played more as Spyro, he'd get more experience. But hey, good thing we came back, because that was our singular thing. All that's missing is, uh, one... <laughs> one stamina now. From YouTube chat, it just works. I will take that kind of it just works over some of Bethesda's stuff any day. Because I don't mind that too much. That just amuses me. That isn't amusing, it just works. As opposed to some of Bethesda's stuff. Whoop. Well, let's see. What's this gonna be? Will it be a death trap? Or a timer? Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay, I get it now. What? Okay, that went way too fast. Game! That was way too fast. I didn't even allow it to do anything. How dare. At least that explains the keyhole. But man, that just happened so quickly. Again, I love the design of those statues. They obviously had to have been made by Malifor as just a, a flex of like, haha. -ha. 
I did this. Me. Uber bastard of the universe. I'll leave. Huh. <laughs> In instantly teleports underground. And that'll be this level. I do like that, even though it's like, hey, just do this one thing of looking for these crystal, like, uh, bubba da buzz. Like, it didn't feel like it was just that the entire time. Because of, like, looking for secrets, all the platforming. Just really enjoyable. I still find it amusing that we just kind of walk slowly up slopes. No skeletons this time? Well, I guess no skeletons this time, and I do believe that is all. That is all for this level. Let's get out of here! That was a very nice level. Are we gonna open it up and everybody's just gonna be dead out there? We open it, it's Malifor. Thank you for opening up my home again. Oh no. Then again, why would he care? He wants to destroy the world and he has his giant destroyer of worlds waddling around. Oh hey, Hunter and his gang are here too. Again, who are these nameless dragons? Again, I just love this Spyro design. It's such a good update from I know what you're thinking, Spyro. the first two games. Have no worry, young dragon. We'll make it. I don't understand. Malifor is about to destroy everything. Because he's crazy. But you seem so calm. I don't imagine Malifor would expend all this effort if he did not feel threatened. But why should he? Throughout our history. He's uh, probably afraid of you, Purple Dragon. You and Malifor. Malifor. Yeah. Your powers go far beyond what you might imagine. He knows it. Malifor could have accomplished anything, but instead chose evil. And the world has been his spiral ever since. Your existence is nature's way of balancing itself. Yeah. But the ancestors thought Malifor was going to be different. They believed in him. And look what happened. Malifor Although I just realized, like, I'll talk about it in a moment, but I like this moment. Ignitus and Spyro didn't get a lot of moments. Why should I be any different? So this is nice. Because I know it. And your heart would not allow it. Because I believe you are destined for great things. To bring about a new age. An age of peace. And I do not see. It is the sun. But yeah, just like to give my thoughts. First, this obviously uh, in whatever unified Spyro timeline, considering that Ignitus said there have only ever been two purple dragons, it's still a little bit weird that I think in the first Legend of Spyro game he said that like a purple dragon is born every like a thousand years or so. So, a little weird to, now that he says there's only ever been two purple dragons, Malifor and him. But if we take this, like, uh, latest, like, revol... What's the word? I forget the exact pronunciation of the word, but... Revelation, this latest revelation, and we take that as uh, full truth, this means that if there is some kind of unified Spyro canon across the mini-games, that Legend of Spyro comes first in the timeline. And then, I guess, in the Age of Peace that is created, with Malifor's destruction, it leads to, like, the artisan worlds, and <laughs> the danger is a lot more silly and wibbly with Nasty Nork and such. Air Dragon Revolution! <laughs> I guess that's the combo it showed.
keep it up, Sparks. I think it's working. Sparks, cut it out. Now's not the time. It's never a good time. Not <laughs> because it's the, always the end of the world with us. Crosses the belt of fire. We might have until midday. Maybe less at that speed. What's the matter, Cinder? Spyro, how deep do you think that canyon is? I don't know. Are we going to drop it down the canyon? What? What are you looking at? Do I, do I have something in my, something in my teeth? Why do dragonflies have teeth? Cinder, you're a genius. I have my moments. Ignitus, can you stall it long enough to allow us to open the floodgate? If we fill up the canyon with water, it may slow it down enough to give us a fighting chance. That may work. Considering that these, like, these four were unable to slow down the golem, I don't know. From escaping the canyon, no matter the cost, every moment... Again, I just... I'm amused by the generic dragon in PC model. The nameless dragons. The rest is up to you. The rest is up to you. Pressure anything. Let's hope. I think slowly Wayne Brady's voice for Sparks is <laughs> coming around on me. That is a very fa oh great! The evil dragon monsters are after us. Ah nah, damn it! Main layer crashed. This is what I get. Brain was just like, yeah, let's do a thing. And now we did the thing, and now we suffer. Well, we did save at the very least. Which is odd, because it's been working fine all this way. But again, at least we saved before. I mean, I'm just really enjoying this game so far. Aside from, like, the, so far the only things that are weird is Wayne Brady's voice, which is growing on me. It's just mostly due to the fact that it just doesn't, like, it is a complete diversion from all of the other Sparks voices we've gotten across the various games. Because, like, David Spade, as much as it's just, like, obviously David Spade, it still kind of worked. Then there was Fry, he was good. But there we go. Look out. <laughs> Open the floodgates of the dam. Hmm. <laughs> Weird. The flying physics. Are we not supposed to get there yet? Or is that like a different way? Because it felt like we were being pointed in this direction. <laughs> Mine. Oh, hey. Can I grab you? Jesus. Nope, cannot grab. Luckily, my fear is leveled up to high hell. Kind of annoying that guy was comboing me while I was comboing him. I guess that's the the danger of the no stun. I guess. Because I know the game's like pointing us in this direction, but I'm not sure if it's like the way we need to go. Come to think of it. Uh, one hidden enemy, two of everything else, basically. So I have no idea exactly where it wants me to go. 
We'll just have to get it a give it a feel. Once again. Okay, there's just a <laughs> there's a hanging doohickey. And I wonder if it's meant to like uh, oh we need to carry it all the way. So I just want to look around. Okay, there's an invisible wall. I'm going to quickly check the left and see. Give this place a whole look over. All right, there's one stamina ba ba da ba. Huh, almost could go to it. Oop. Ha ha! And we did. More magic breath for Cinder. No idea if that's like uh, what the game wanted us to do or not. Like the that's the only downside of the free flying. It is a such a nice feature. But it does make it feel a bit wonky at times. All right, so we obviously need a adamantine ball for this. Which makes it almost seem like we, we need to get over there. But it's like shoving us down! Ha <laughs> ha! And now we open the gate. And uh, health upgrade for Cinder. Fear Cinder's power, for she is one bad bitch. Okay, so... Hmm. Ah, there's extra uh, segments up here. Can we get to them? Nope. Then I guess we need to begin on the right. A little bit odd that there's no music, but at the same time, we haven't really done anything yet. So I guess it makes sense. Alright. Well, first things first. <laughs> the music's back, because we're finally on track. You know, in a way that it's actually kind of a cool way of telling the player you're going in the right direction would be like, we're playing the music. That means you're making progress. I think that'd be cool. And this music's actually really nice. I'm going to have to look up the soundtrack. I like it. It definitely feels more like a kind of generic fantasy in some places. Compared to, like, uh, the original Spyro games having very distinctive, like, soundtrack identities. But I still like this. Yeah, this is a very nice soundtrack. Get fear orbed, idiot. Alright, uh, do we uh, pull it out or pull it in? Ah, we pull out. And for some reason, brain went, ah, so this is Spyro's pullout game. Was there supposed to be... Oh, no, it's just going to slide into place. It kind of looked like a broken... function, but hey. And then that li raises things. You better not be timed. I'd hate that. Uh, 
Alright, because... I'm going to guess that that, like, little thing is an elevator, so that maybe we can... Grab an adamantine... Oh, wait! Uh, are we supposed to take, like, the... Adamantine ball away to lock it into place? Maybe? Uh, nope, we cannot access it. And now Brain goes, there is a joke to be made about Spyro and his adamantine balls. Because I'm going to presume that since this is the only place to get the adamantine balls, we're supposed to take them this way to then make our way up. And that's not an elevator, but we can... And more likely, this is how we were supposed to act, uh, access that one room. Oh, almost fell. Ha-ha! <laughs> I am the wiener. Again, Cinder's neck and jaws just have to be utterly unbreakable. Alright, they just sent an army after us. Get smacked in the air, idiot. Oh, are these things using, like, Fear Breath as well? I think so. Kind of makes sense, I guess. <laughs> you only wield the fear. Cinder was born in it. Fear is just such a fun power. I've kind of been neglecting all the other powers, but still. Now we open up the gate. But again, like, Spyro and Cinder have to be incredibly strong to do stuff like this. Because Cinder is the only thing acting as leverage for Spyro to pull that giant goddamn stick. We have to destroy the dam. <laughs> How about we send the dragon head falling? We have to let all the water out. All at once. No, no. Here's what we do. We have to let all the water out all at once. You with me? Let's blow this damn thing up. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the closest thing to a curse in this entire series. We can destroy them. We better move. They're too intelligent for us. Oh, but we also still need to be on the lookout for the hidden enemy and the armors. Which I am still very much afraid of missing. Actually, come to think of it. There's you over here, which should be accessible now. But what are you? What secrets do you hold? That was close. What secrets lie atop this tower? It is armor! Offering power. Alright, it's a tail one. Is it for Cinder or Spyro? For Spyro! Let's see. Wounds attacking enemies, increased defense, immune to stun. Hmm. 
increased melee attack damage, increased attack speed. Since uh, since allies don't get hit, or like <laughs> allies, <laughs> as if we have multiple. Considering that Spyro doesn't take damage when Cinder's in control and vice versa. Unless I'm planning to use them, the defense isn't really that important. Hmm. Well, this has to be for a thing. Because we can climb on it. Like, I don't know. Because it feels weird, because it does seem like when we fly up and then pull away that there is, like, an accessible outcropping. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it is nothing. Onwards we go, though. <laughs> ah, it's an elevator. I wonder if there'll be anything underneath the elevator. Some games do that. Well, actually, now I kind of want to know. Wish I could, like, uh... Oh, is this the, is this the down one, then? Because I kind of want to see. See if I can fly around the bottom of this area first. Look for secrets. Was that a goddamn secret? <laughs> it looked like a wall. Well, like, not a wall, but like a... A missing wall. I knew it. Come on. Come on, game. Just let me get at him. You put two of them in here. You try to hide them from me. You jerks. You can't hide secrets from me. I have secrets on the brain. Alright, there's an invisible wall. That answers my question. Again, why does Cinder just bounce up into the air? Now, we will manually push this elevator up. And it looks like Sparks wants to help because he went underneath the elevator. It's like, don't worry, guys. I'll push up from down here. And we'll need to be careful because there could be, like, other, like, drop-down secrets. Again. This better not be the way I'm supposed to go and activate something. <laughs> Your deaths will be swift. This better not be a locking me off from that way. Get annihilated, Bowman. Ow, rude. How dare you run away? Also, how is you, how is your friend still alive? I thought he was dead. Hmm. Let me take over. Yeah, because maybe burning his obviously wooden shield would do good. Burn. Somehow you're only getting progressively uglier. I wish I could destroy your goddamn shield. Just 
Keep him on fire. Keep beating him up. Seriously, how much? How much health do you have? Man. I'm even exploiting, like, a bit of a stun this guy has for fire. Finally, he's dead. Alright, maybe this wasn't the way we were supposed to go. He gave us a treasure chest. Which I believe is both of the armors for this level. This might be uh, Cinder's final bracers, I think. Yep. Let's see. Which is increased fury power. But very interesting. Because I thought, like, the one way we were going up the elevator was the way it wanted me to go. No, never mind. It was a save place. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Again, why does Cinder bounce? God, the jokes my brain wants to make. I guess we shall move along. Hmm. Because these are torches. But apparently it doesn't want us to... Make them real. Make them light up. And we can't climb that way, so... Uh, but it... They can charge? That can be charged! I was exp I was going to... Because I was like... I swear I hear, like... Attain something music. Or like music. Like uh, sound effects. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, I wonder if I can do that. Bounce. Below. Uh, it's going to take us forever to get back down. Again, why do you bounce so much? But at least this will like clear away and see if there's any other secrets going down. First things first, make sure. Yep, that's the one we already did. But I just wanted to double check that. And now I'm going to see if Cinder can bounce her ass up to that one place where it feels like there should be a place because they put platform thingies. Because they put platform thingies over here. Get all that. I swear if the next thing we run into is a Mana stealing. Ba ba ba. Okay, so there's nothing there. Good to know. That's just what I wanted to learn. It felt like that was like a placement to act as steps to go get to someplace else. That's what it felt like because it feels like steps. And because it was like a divot there, is like, is there a thing just out of way? Or what? And the answer was no. There was nothing out of the way. I just needed to know and clear away my worry of secrets. But it still leaves me here because these two torches... They feel very specific. Spyro, why are you down here? Get up here so we can try things out. Well, no, because there are ones on this side as well. 
Hmm. Also need to be careful because there's still the, the like hidden boss enemy, which aren't like the most important things. But uh, let's quickly see about spreading the experience before I forget. It's still gonna take us forever to max them out, but still. Because it just feels like this should be a thing. It feels like a wall. But then again, that's just the save point, isn't it? And that's the thing that I was worrying about the most. Because I thought I was hearing something. It's just the save point. But yeah, next time I face like a boss... I'm going to have to use that charged up fear attack. See if that works well. I swear, each time I use my fear breath, another one spawns. They're learning. Alright, that was just tracking me. How dare. Get feared, idiot. And we'll just come here and get this health upgrade. But I'm just really liking the feel of this. Like, in a way, it kind of reminds me of, like, uh, God of War to a degree. And, like, how things... Like, basically, in the feel department, the vibes. Even if, they're like, there's less murder. I wonder, is Dark Spyro ever going to come back? Ah, oh, damn it. Because Dark Spyro felt like he was just there for a moment. Again, this is why I wish that, like, somebody was allowed to super-duper remake Legend of Spyro. Because Dark Spyro would be such a good final boss for, like, a, a, a series of s levels, like, uh, focusing on Cinder throughout Eternal Night. Because I know what you want, but... Mm. But since I know what you want, game... Well, fine. Dang it. I guess Cinder is not high enough to do the Wrecking Ball. There we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, you're the boss. All right, then. Oop. Okay, I hate that you're moving while I'm trying to hit you with what I presume you to be weak with. Of which it looks like I was right. And now I'm out of mana. Because hitting the poison is incredibly difficult. Give me all that. I don't know. <laughs> it feels like I'm supposed to be doing that, but... Okay, we have to dodge him since he's going to be sending his projectile out. Whoop. Very rude. Trying to stab me. There we go. Now your mask is off. Dang it. Ah, you can be feared. Haha, uh -huh, idiot. I didn't even mean to find this guy. I wanted the secret that's underneath him. Get comboed. Get comboed. 
Come on, Sparrow. We need to hit our, our combo quota of the year. Oh, hey, got feared again. That amuses me immensely. He even slightly dodges out of it, even though he's still feared. Get feared, idiot. Like, why isn't Malfor using these elemental restriction masks on more of his people? Because, like, I, I assume that those things work for Malfor. The element screen is broken. Alright, maybe if we look at it from Spyro. There we go. Now it's fixed. Before we go further... <laughs> Apparently, if you try to swap while falling, it ha you have to wait until you fall all the way. Hmm. Although, I wonder what this adamantine ball... I assume that we need to carry this adamantine ball... ...upwards. Again, just Cinder's jaw and neck unbreakable. And again, the music in this section is just so nice. Hmm, I want to see. Because it does seem like, I'm not sure it was like... Hmm. Yeah, that's for everything else, so I think we'll try to do... This adamantine ball puzzle, because it's the hidden boss thing, popped up. So I can only assume that this is technically a secret area. At least according to the game. So I doubt that we're gonna be, like, running into... Bah! Like, mandatory, this is the way you're supposed to go areas. Because there is one segment there. Okay, so this now it's starting to feel like this is the mandatory way it wants me to go. Or is that just like... Ah, oh, it's an alternate path up there. Huh. Interesting. How dare you leap at me. Ranged man. We shall beat you up for that. Hmm. Because we came up that way, I think. Did we? Yeah, I think we did. Hmm. Because, like, I doubt that this is, like, actually a thing that we can do. Like, this doesn't seem to be, like, an actual obstacle the game wants us to overcome. It's just, like, a, we're going to put, a, like, a doorway here, but then there's, because there's nothing beyond it. And it doesn't feel like there's anything to, like, actually do, so. Yeah, overall, this just feels like a different way to get where we were already going. Which is a little weird. Slightly. But I guess not. 
like cruel or anything. <laughs> I keep forgetting sometimes that the game like wants me to wall run more than I do, but it's like, but I can fly. <laughs> Smash those, because we can. Get more. Breath power. God damn it, we need it too. Like, I guess since this is like the upper part of the... Ba ba ba. It makes a bit more sense for it to have... Oh, wait, what? So that was only one. So now the question is, where the hell is the other one? Where's the other... Adamantine ball? Did I miss it? Ah, here you are. In a place that I just completely missed. Interesting. I like that. Because normally the adamantine balls just spawn from a single pile, so... Actually spreading them around, I find that interesting. And again, there's like, the more that I play this game, the more that I wish that there was like, well, more of these games... Because I kind of dig the world. It's a bit more, like, I don't know. It's like, it feels more classic fantasy to a degree compared to other Spyro games. It's just like, I don't know. It, has, it just has a nice vibe to it. The gameplay feels a bit more engaging. I like, <laughs> now Brain is going like, I wonder if there's a way to combine, like, classic Spyro and Legend of Spyro to a degree. But I don't know. But I'm just digging the this world's story. Our enemy's gonna come fight us? Yep. Like, the characters, the story, the worlds, like, pretty nice. I'm just enjoying it a lot. How dare you flee? How dare you try to shoot me? <laughs> really, now I'm just wondering why Ignitus and the others haven't weaponized the... Adamantine balls, if they're so powerful. Maybe they can't even lift them themselves. Only the power of darkness or purple is able to carry the adamantine balls. Once again, we're back to Spyro's pullout game. Again. Spyro's wings have to be super strong to pull this, and Cinder's claws have to be super strong to, like, hold on while being pulled. <laughs> ah, yes, the classical damn self-destruction. Self-destruct device. God, that thing's huge. Ignitus looks down. Dear God, they destroyed the dam! Everyone, take cover. Maybe we'll take out its legs. Ah, uh, just like the golem before it, it tore off its leg. Well, I guess the golem le lost its arm. This one lost its leg. The destroyer. Destroy the destroyer, even. <laughs> 
So in a way, it's going to be... This guy is going to be the level. Oh, uh, game. I wanted to actually fly back up there. To get to the memory crystal. Like, yeah, game. I, I kind of know that, but it sometimes doesn't feel like it goes very fast. Well, that's just mean. Again, why does <laughs> Cinder bounce? We'll just beat up these guys and then quickly see. Uh, there are armor here. There are armor, you know. These dark crystals, they take so many hits. Is that a cavern or just a hole? Kind of yes. Now game. So come on. The flying is a little weird. I knew there was a hole there. More health for Spyro. Oh, there's another crystal down there, but I wonder where it wants me to go. Or if we can fly from anyone to anyone. Or if there's like specific ones it wants me to go after. These must be like the freebie ones. Okay, never mind. They're actually throwing an enemy. <laughs> it's bleeding lava to try and stop us. Oh, hey, one of the armors. Who will get this armor? Cinder or Spyro? Which dragon lingerie is this? Yeah, for Spyro. Oop, wrong one. Do we want to go to armor? Which is increased fury duration. Well, I guess it's the only one he has. Doesn't really super matter. Yeah, because that's where we were. I wonder why the other dragons aren't, like, <laughs> blasting it. Like, Terador, why don't you try to use your earth-shaking powers to annihilate this thing's legs even more? How even how is it even this precise to shoot many many like mini meteors at us? It's like it's just attacking my arm. How dare! Stop! God! But we are getting some cool Latin chants though. There was one, like, location I know, like, uh, can I... That looked like we would be able to... Ah, like you. We can climb you. Is there anywhere we can fly to from here? Is a question. I am a genius. We can just fly around the waterfall.
Jesus. So I think that opened up something. But where exactly, I'm not sure. Because it didn't fully seem to show me. Hey, Sparks, can you scout out where we need to go to kill this guy? There, are, there does seem to be, like, platform-ish segments over here, maybe? Well, I was right. Again, why do I bounce? Man, the lava. Very rude. Cease that at once, golem monsters. Yeah, get smacked. I kind of like this level. It seems like a kind of, I don't know, go around, do whatever, find your own path kind of level, which is neat. Nice spin to win move. Now die. Your spin to win move was not as winning. <laughs> it's almost like we blasted him out of the air. Now let's go down to the elements. There we go. Poison is now up and at him. Then I guess we'll start leveling up Shadow. We definitely need to play as Spyro more. Look out. Oh, Cinder's Gallery is unlocked. Wow, I fell, darn you. Why is it on such a teeny tiny pedestal? Ah, huh, it's even up here, too. You fool. Well, fine. We'll smash up this thing since we can. Suffer for taking away our mana, Dark Crystal Man. random health thing here. But I know there's like a... Well, there, at least there appears to be another platform down here that we shall explore. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be an actual platform. Just a jutting out of this guy and his whole geometry. I still find it amusing that apparently Cinder is just prone to getting bounced up high, but I think I see kind of next where we need to go for uh, crystal shattering. Hmm. I think I'm going to save that one at the bottom for like uh, easy to get to, easy to destroy, last minute exploration crystal. Ah, speaking of exploration. Well, let me quickly see. We have... Basically, the I only really care about the armor. The stat things are nice, but the armor... 
Now that's where it's at. The power of Dragon Lingerie cannot be underestimated. Because it feels like this is leading somewhere. It feels like. So maybe it's just leading to those. Hmm. Wonder how much else we can go. And it doesn't seem we can go this way. So maybe that last crystal is what we need to destroy, and then it'll activate, like, another phase? Because it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to really... Well, then again, I don't think we've really checked out his back... his other leg. Which we shall... look about. Yeah, it looks like the camera's doing that thing. It's like, ah, you're not supposed to be here. Well, fine then. We shall destroy his final leg crystal that we can see. And then that probably will activate uh, another segment. Get smacked. Dark crystal jerk. Because it is now at half, so... Alright, so enemies are coming. Let's get more... Breath power! Oh, Jesus! I don't even know what that was. Was it just the destroyer? Ah, oh, it's these guys throwing extra out there. How oh, dare. I'll handle this. So yeah, definitely want fear power against those guys with their destruction magics. How does it progress and how am I doing? The progressing is going very well. It's very fun. The levels have been quite enjoyable. The story has been progressing nice as well. And I've been doing decently, decently. I need to do more writing. I did do, like, some uh, world building slash overall story progress writing for a story recently. But I need to make chapter progress ever more. And I need to play Spyro more as well, like here, so he gets more experience. Alright, so this is definitely the halfway point. Quote unquote. Hopefully, this will then lead to the second armor of the level. But yeah, overall, I've just been pretty good. Just need to actually do the things I want to do. Ah, level sequence transition. It's been a bit since we've had one of those. Well, since we're here, you might as well smack this. Evil crystal of darkness. Begone. Eight of twelve. Hmm. There's obviously ah a surprisingly obvious stamina crystal. Hmm. But now I want to go this way because this is this anything or is this just a ah treasure? Aha! There you are. I believe this should be Cinder's armor for the level. More bracers. More dragon lingerie for Spyro. 
which should be... Oh, wait, no, these. Increased chance to disarm. To disarm? Nuclear hit? Hell yeah. No idea what a nuclear hit is. But let's split some atoms on these guys' asses. I guess this means that the dragons of this world know about, <laughs> like, atoms and nuclear physics and stuff. Almost fell, but oh well. More health. Nope. Hmm. So either this is like the super duper secret section. Also, God, it is breathing. Yeah, either this is like the super secret, secret, secret section. Interesting. I want to use this to then get over here for more experience. Damn it. <laughs> Game didn't like that. I want to use my wonky flying so I can fly. Oop. That's kind of nice of the game. I guess we'll head to the normal segment and go there as the game normally demands. <laughs> that implies that the dragons have capability to create nukes. Yeah, but they're dragons. They probably don't care about that. Dang it, I wanted to run across the wall, but the air draft said no. Because I definitely see... There we go. It's all about the angle of entry. Luckily, we got that, so we don't have to do it again. Also kind of disturbing that this is just a piece of the... Like uh, like a city similar to Warfang, it seems. Hmm. But it doesn't seem like uh, I'm ready to be here yet because I haven't destroyed enough dark crystals to warrant those things to activate, it seems. Ah, there's more secrets. Destroy the darkness. Destroy the crystal. <laughs> the Legend of Spyro Cold War. I wonder if that was... Like, uh... I was gonna say that's kind of what, uh... The war was at before... Spyro came along to actually go and fight Cinder. But at the same time, kind of not really. It's just that, like, there was no war going on until Spyro <laughs> awoke. I mean, like, for the new beginning. Damage boost off of it! Haha! <laughs> I'm not afraid of your lava spouts. I don't care about taking your lava damage. I will destroy your Dark Crystal of Doom. Also, wouldn't your lava also be doing damage to your crystal? What kind of elemental resistances that got? All right, give me that. I want that crystal. That crystal's mine, you bastard. I don't care about those enemies. I care about this crystal.
Oh, wrong thing. I want to go to elements. Of which, try to increase fire a little bit. Come over here. Let's see. We're going to increase shadow more. Now we come down here to destroy enemies. How dare you hit me. Get nuclear hit, idiot. I don't know what that whistling is. Whoop. Nuclear hits for maximum damage. Get nuclear hit. Spyro splitting atoms each time he hits you. Well, that's just mean. So they track so hard with that move. Whoop! Dang it. Come on, fly back up. No, not that way. This way. Please die. Please die. And a bit of healing. For a moment I thought Sparks was a fireball. Come to kill me. Considering that that kind of round back about, does that mean that uh, the enemies will now spawn up on here on top of his head? Or are there other dark secrets we must destroy? Nope, this is where we're meant to be now. <laughs> and I was almost there. But then it kicked me out. Nuclear hits. Hey, don't hit me with your handle. Right. Oh, because you're out of breath power. Darn. There, that fears all of them. Whoop. I dodge your auto lock attack, you jerk. And we'll use your dead body to replenish some of our mana. Come on and face us. Ah, crap. We have to be very afraid of these guys. These guys are very dangerous. They can output a lot of damage if we're not careful. Get comboed, idiot. Get comboed, idiot. Oh, crap. Yeah, get feared. <laughs> Even though he is feared, sometimes he'll decide to block still. His training takes over. <laughs> Malfor take the wheel. Please explode. <laughs> and then the happy music plays. Oh, and then a save point opened up here. Neat. So far, this is a very cool, like, the the boss is the level, which is just neat. Now we'll raise up Spyro's health back. I 
I didn't definitely shouldn't have used all that time gathering mana since it was just going to be sucked out of me anyway. Are we going to go stab the giant monster's brain now? We can't stop it from out here. But maybe. Well, wait, 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 wait. You're not thinking about going in there, are you? Come yeah, we have to know what it's thinking. Come on, Sparks. We're going to need you to lead the way. Oh, come on. You know I got your back. I just like complaining. <laughs> Funnily, that does kind of sum up Sparks. <laughs> it's just like, like, you know that I'm going to help you, but I'm going to complain along the way. <laughs> Random camera change. And more mana power for Spyro. We are like in this thing's jaws. It's disturbing that it's not actually moving. Okay, then. You ready? Let's, go. Let's attack its heart like... <laughs> I was going to make a reference. But then I got sucked into its windpipes. Well, that's what we're doing. Whoa. Look out. Could have used a second read on that line. Jesus. Through here. Man, they're just going all out. Oh, shit. Ow. We went in through its mouth, and now we're basically outside again. There it is. It's heart. It's even pumping like a heart. Oh, Jesus! Again, how that's not damaging the heart. Impressive. You know, if I had a PlayStation 3 game where the protagonist uh, went inside a giant enemy to punch their heart to fight them, I'd have at least two nickels. And they were both beat-em-ups, too. Maybe if I played even more games, that would bring me lots more nickels. Booyah! At least one part. Oh, we're, we're getting sucked away! A few more passes. A few more drive-bys. Against the darkness. I'd like to see Sora from Kingdom Hearts do this. Ow. Ah, that hit sound effect's actually kind of neat. Ah, right, dang it, game. Get nuclear-powered hits. All your shielding is gone. Ow, you just spawned me into that, basically. Uh, Cinder, you are driving me into hell! Just goes to show that co-op is optimal. Because <laughs> at least your partner would knowingly do that to you. Ah, oh, I got hit again. I'm a fool. Got to use actual combos for maximum damage. And that's not even it. <laughs> it was like heart-shaped rocks. And then, more crystals. Oh, more lava. Is this just, is this heartburn? Is that what this is? Now this entire place is gonna explode. Ah, uh, I cannot see anything. We can just go to the left. 
We could have gone to the left there, and that would have gotten us out. It was the wide open world there. Go, go, go. Oh, Jesus. It's like eradicating all of the stone. And somehow Sparks also got out alive. Goodbye, monster. We did nothing but stand here. Call your subtlety, young dragon. You certainly know how to triumph with flair. What subtleties? <laughs> What's happening to it? I I don't know. It's most peculiar. Did we play into Malfor's hands? Ah great, victory was not enough. What? Yeah, it's breaking its legs even more. Is it trying to reach the... Oh, uh, you... Is it gonna win by technicality? It's barely gonna touch the Ring of Fire to begin the destruction of the world. That's what you said, like, in the first game, too. Listen to me. Not much time is left. Everyone must get to shelter. What about the outlying populations? And there are countless still inside Dragon City. It was Warfang. The underground city. Ignite us. There are endless caves down there. We saw them. We can lead them there. No. I need you and Cinder here with me. We have to go save people, though. Send your falcons to the outlying regions and tell them to get beneath the surface as deep as they can. Go! All of you! I know you're up to something, Ignitus. I've known you for too long. What are your plans? Go to the others, Terador. There will be panic and disorder. A strong leader will be needed. I'll find my way back once I get Spyro and Cinder through the belt of fire. We have to confront Malifor, don't we? I see we must way. kill Malifor. The belt is weakened, and this may be our only chance to break through. Yeah, if we aren't incinerated first. Oh, come on, it doesn't sound so bad. We've been through worse, right? Sparks, you can't come with me. You do know he, he's been with you way too much. He's, yeah, he always does. You wouldn't survive in there. You need to make sure the others reach the underground city in time. Huh. You've been there before. You can guide them. It's important, Sparks. But you need me. Right now, there are others that need you more. Huh. Cinder, you have to promise me you will look after him. We, we've been through a lot together. I promise. That's actually kind of sweet. And this is, that's actually interesting because... Be careful. Aside from the small bit at the beginning of Enter the Dragonfly, Be careful is all I know. this is the only time that Spyro and Sparks have been separated. That's actually very interesting. I should be able to offer some protection from the heat. Because you're the Dragon of Fire? That's, well, I guess it's not really a super new ability because we technically saw Spyro do something similar, but, huh, interesting. Powers is the plot demands, I guess. Let's turn back. There's got to be another way. I know. <laughs> is, is Ignitus just going to die here? Because this is kind of his redemption because... Jesus. Go. Go. He went over and became a force ghost. Ignite us! No! Spyro, stop. It's too late. You can't do anything for him now. No, he isn't gone. 
Spyro. Let it go. No. Oh! Oh no! I just I was just mentioning that! I didn't expect Dark Spyro to come back! Oh! We have to go on. He wanted us to. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I feel so alone. You're not alone. Sure, you sent Sparks away, but you still have her. But yeah, just to touch on, like, because I feel like Ignitus did that because he feels like he, like, like he said, that he, he didn't do right by Spyro and Cinder because he felt that he failed them when they were eggs and he was the main guardian of the sanctuary. <laughs> but yeah, I did, I did not expect. Dark Spyro to be lingering underneath the surface this entire time. Oh, hey, the little guys are back. But one thing I have noticed is that, like, even though, like, uh, Spyro and Cinder kind of have the same like line reading tonality a lot of the time right, here we go. for some reason it feels like uh, Elijah Woods reading is like I don't know sounds better even either way this is like his nat like his I don't know I'm trying to think of the word yeah I thought we could be able to destroy this Spyro definitely needs to top up. Wait, I did not expect Ignitus to die. Well, then again, we've yet to see the body, but... Highly doubt that he's gonna come back. I think Ignitus is gone. Make it schmack some flying guys. We haven't seen you guys in a while. Ah, oh, that's why that was happening. That's their block animation. Come on, flying enemy. Let me smack you around a bit. More schmackings. Ever the more. Again, it's just so brutal. They grab them by the neck and then just claw them over and over again. I feel like I've killed the same one over again a million times. Your luck on jump attack is evil, little man. As is your... Come on. Die already. And give me that overkill power. Oh, that's not good. Let's enter Fury. Oh, and we still died. Darn you. I thought more epicness would happen, and then I just died. At least we got our... Dilly D back. Still gave us our fury. Come on, you. We'll just smack you about. 
What do you think of Ignitus's model? I mean, his model is great overall, except for the mouth. Yeah, he just kept smiling. Like, even then, it's not super noticeable most of the time. But now I'll have to try a bit more. Because I think it's the big guys to worry about the most. Get feared, idiot. Give us your overkill gym power. Come here, grab some more breath power. The big guys with their auto lock jumps are scary. Oh, okay, you have an auto lock lunge, it seems. Very annoying lunges. Hmm. Let's activate this and a second time then. Oh! We get convexity! Oh! That is super cool! Fury Mode gives you Convexity Breath? Or whatever it's called? I just remember, like, that being, like, a term used for it. But that's actually super cool. Instead of, like, doing a major amount of damage, it gives you a very cool breath attack. Which, in a way, kind of ties back to, like, uh... The first Legend of Spyro. Because that's kind of what happened, like, in the first one. Oh, that's actually super cool. Come here, you. Yeah, that's like super duper cool. That's the best Fury mode in all of them so far, I'd say. Hmm. I just have to try because I'm interested. Because if Earth could. Uh, I figured it could be cool if that could uh, break open those, it could lead to something. Oh, this music's actually really cool. It's like kind of sort of epic and like inspirational hopeful as we enter into the darkest hour it seems. Quit running away. Face your death here today. And suffer your fate. Get feared, idiot. Interesting. That was kind of the, like, uh, electricity spin from the second game.
Get smacked, idiot. Oh, now I'm the idiot who's getting smacked. I haven't really used Spyro much with the game, so I don't- I'm not really used to his breath attacks. Quit running away, you coward! But I will come over here to get that... Power. Ha! He got shattered. No blocking. Blocking is illegal. More breath power from your corpse. Give to us. He's up there somewhere, isn't he? In one of the floating islands. I don't know if I can go through with this. I don't know either. But we have to. And you said it yourself. If we don't, then everything we fought for, everything we've lost. It's all been for nothing. All right, then. I'll go. But only because I want to get rid of this chain. Come on. The air is too thick down here with all this ash. There's probably an updraft near the volcano. <laughs> we must follow the flying minions. They'll lead us to the... updraft, obviously. All right, so there's actually a hidden enemy and some... Well, very rude. Well, first things first, go check elements. See if this will be enough. It is. Earned new Fury Gem. But what else shall we upgrade? I guess we'll go back to upgrading ice. Oh, huh. That was enough, actually. Hmm. I wonder how good the Fury Gems are, what they do. Do not know. Hmm. Yeah, we're just... Two away. Ah, Spyro's Gallery unlocked. My only question is, like, where would, uh... Boss be hidden? The closest I can think of is maybe some backtracking. At least so far, there's yet to really feel like a place. That would be... Like, walk around, searchable. Wait, I'm just digging this game. My turn. All right, it got feared down there. Hey, I forgot. We need to upgrade some of Cinder's breath as well. One away from maxed out fury gems for her. All right, we'll come down here and kill you. Slowly come down. Man, you did a lot of damage. How dare. See, was there a heal gem anywhere or back here? I think there was. I'm watching me backtrack just to run into the hidden boss enemy. Again, this music is just so very nice. Fill up the breath. Ah, and here's some health. The only, the only problem is here is like I don't know which way is like the main way. So, but I think this might just be a secret way, maybe. 
least that's what I get the that's the vibe I get. <laughs> nope, we just found the secret guy instead. My turn. With electricity. Come on. Lose your mask. There we go. Ah, dang it, he dodged. I hate how many, like, loop-de-loops you do. They just keep doing that! Flinch, flinch. Oh, you do not want to flinch. The fact that... Okay, fuck you and being able to waddle, like, slide away. Like that. Like, oh, you slide away while winding up your attack. How am I supposed to actually damage you? Yeah, these purple guys are annoying. Yeah, because he can just slide away while winding up his attacks. That's so bullshit. And now you run away. Ever so slightly. an angry man. You are a bullet sponge, but for claws and fire. Damn it. Oh, you're blocking. I, I see through your blocking. God, you're... I hate you. How dare you block my attacks, you bastard. That's illegal. Like he comes out of his... diddly D. Ready to dodge. Again, the sliding is just bothersome. I didn't even mean to find you. Well, I guess I mean, I was looking for the secret way and not the main way, so I guess I got what I wanted. I hate your lunge. That's so stupid. That you could just slide away and slide towards me without regard. That's so annoying. I have to be very careful because he does a lot of damage. When he starts sliding, I start dodging. He slides, I dodge away. He begins sliding, I begin dodging. Up. He begins blocking. He begins sliding. Dodge away majorly. So long as he dodges. He slides. Once he starts going, no animation movement. <laughs> Have to dodge. I wish I could hit him while he was, like, entering and exiting that. I know it'd be abusable, but that's kind of point. Whoop! Jesus!
Like, I don't know what the game wants from me to fight this guy, like, legitimately. He just seems very annoying to fight. Damn you! Damn, you're doing so much damage with your lunges. You know what? I should... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna... Where is it? Oh, we already have regenerating health on. Darn you. Increased attack speed. I guess increased chance to combo. My poison damage I don't think is doing much for me. I hate that you automatically go into another attack from your big wind-up. Like... We get it, game. This guy's attacky, attacky, but... Jesus. I would like an opportunity to attack him, too. You know, like, he does that big wind-up attack, immediately begins winding up for another, like, game. Fuck off! <laughs> That's so stupid! I have to do two dodges away from that. Oh, come on, he shouldn't be able to block if he has this much going on! He's been at this same health bar bit for five million years, I hate it. Like, literally, I get into a range of him being able to hit me. Immediately begins winding up, I hate. Especially because he just winds up like that. I wish I could just... I almost... I wish... I miss the lock-on for enemies like this. And then I should stay away because... Oh, he's just immediately looking to try and combo off that. I hate. Damn you. Like, it's the fact that he has such range. Which makes it bothersome to deal with. Fuck off! Why does he have that range? It's so stupid! God damn you and your cunt. It's just so dumb. He should not be able to attack you from that fucking far away. Game. Not without giving up something in return, but he just doesn't. He doesn't lose anything from attacking that far away and can just immediately combo. It's so stupid. Oh, wow, well, he's a hidden enemy. Kiss my cunt. Oh, the masks actually change. Interesting. But yeah, it's just utterly dumb, game. This is obviously the fear thing, so... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> He's not losing... He didn't lose his goddamn mask. <laughs> he didn't lose his goddamn mask, and that is what the game wants. Thank you, game, for being dumb. Okay, fire works as well, apparently. And he hit me during that fuck off. This boss is just dumb. Because there's nothing to it. Just annoyance. Oh, I'm blocking. I'm blocking in a beat em up. Aren't I clever? You shouldn't have a sweep. You just should not have sweep attacks at all. If you're gonna do this much, you do not deserve sweeps. Fuck your range, dude. I hate it. He should not have that much range. It's so stupid. His range should be clearly telegraphed, and it's just not. 
They just completely failed to telegraph everything about this guy in this fight. There's just nothing about this guy except being annoying. Quit blocking my shit. Fuck off. <laughs> you should not be able to block anything that I do, honestly, with what you have, you asshole. Because it honestly feels like he just gets bonus defense the closer to death he is, which is just so stupid. Leave me alone. God damn you. Why does it take forever to kill this asshole? There's nothing to him. He just does major damage and, like, gives you very little opportunity to hit him. It's dumb. There's nothing to this that is fun. So maybe he just has two masks. That's randomized, like... One electricity, one, I don't know, maybe fear. Now at least he's disarmed, so maybe that will utterly annihilate his ability to hit me. Oh, you can pick it back up? That's dumb. Camera! Fix! Well, I guess the camera's just dead. Cinder's camera is fucked. <laughs> or at least maybe it was. Nope, it's just fucked. I sure do love not being able to play the game. I hate that he has a sweep. God, you're just annoying. Why do you have so much goddamn health? You just really shouldn't. It shouldn't be allowed. Again, you shouldn't be able to block. Fuck off. Oh, that follows. Fuck off. Why is there so many just brain dead decisions to make this guy annoying for no reason? I wish I could actually stun him with fire. Why is the camera broken? So dumb. I can hardly tell what's going on. I hate, I hate. Because I need to play a Cinder to do as much damage by getting the faint, scant few mana power ups. <laughs> All right, he went to a different direction and then spawned. Okay. And then he's doing this again. Why does he even do this? To reset? Why? It's dumb. Stop. I was dodging game, you cunt. Again, why does he slide? Just to obfuscate his goddamn range. It's so stupid. And the fact that it has multiple hit instances, that big wind-up one, so dumb, hate. Why do you even block? Why does he get five billion things to do? And the fucking range! Why? That's just horrible design for an enemy. Because you have no idea actually how far his range is. And he's just sliding. 
It's just so stupid. Stop. And for some fucking reason, the camera broke that time as well. The fuck is wrong with you, game? Why is this guy designed this way? Now he's green. I'm going to hope that, like... Earth power should work. I hope. Because I want to keep, like, spam a bunch of damage against him. Nope, it seems like it specifically wants... Cinder's Poison. My favorite. Again, why does he have such a funky... Oh, fuck off! You don't get to block, you cunt. Knock the mask off. Knock the mask off. Apparently the mask just doesn't want to come off. Oh, you have to use the secondary power. Well, then fucking... <laughs> have it be functional, you cunt of a game. I don't care if it's a, like, secondary optional thing you can do. Bad design is bad design, and this is just bad design. Because there's just nothing to this. There's nothing to it. It's just annoying. Her to her, he's, he doesn't flinch or take much damage unless you use a specific element. But then you need to apply that element in a specific way, apparently. And now that we know that, we're going to give him this mask specifically the entire time, because fuck you, player. What fun. You are not deserving of a block. You should not be able to block. Knock off the mask, knock off the mask, not off, knock off the... Why isn't it knocking off the goddamn mask? <laughs> Come on! Game, come on! The first time that we get a color repeat back to back, it's the most annoying cunt one. And sure, I could skip this, but fuck that. It's just very annoying. Come on. Function, design well, it's not that hard. All right, back to electricity. Considering that Spyro's breaths don't seem to super do a lot of damage against him, not much is lost here. Except for maybe the disarming. But man, it takes a lot to take off his goddamn mask of electricity. Drop it. And now apparently he's almost dead. And he still does a billion damage because this game's a bastard. Alright, so that's a guide dang it enemy. That is an enemy that is very much guide dang it because apparently if you have the right thing to kill him, he goes down just immediately. Okay, weird. Let's see, what were we upgrading next? I think we were upgrading you next. But yeah, that's just so weird. That like one immensely... <laughs> all those other tries. Like, why even let the player damage him with physical attacks if that's obviously not what you want the player to do, game? Jesus. But it's extra mean because some of the elemental masks are a lot, like, simpler to get rid of than others. So, depending on the mask you get, you could have less, like, uh, mana than other breaths. So, I don't know, it just it feels, like, very weirdly designed. That one.
We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy because he was bothering us. How dare. But yeah, I just find it very weird to throw an enemy like that. That apparently the developers had no intention for the player to actually fight without breath attacks. And they specifically leave out green gems from the arena for the player to restock on. Like, I don't know. It's just like, doesn't feel good to fight that guy, but at least now he is dead. And I think that that shall be it for now. Because I think we've done like three-ish levels, which is similar to the last one. Because in the first one we did, yeah, kind of three to four levels. We did kind of three to four levels and we're kind of nearing the end, it feels like. So maybe we'll be able to finish this next stream. Or maybe there will be four. I don't know. Because we did take a look at the chapters. And there were like a decent amount of chapters. Because I think there was 11 overall chapters. And we did like three-ish. Like three to four. And if we did three to four again. So yeah, kind of. Unless we just do three, three. If we do three per stream, it'll take four, but who knows. We've been going for three-ish hours. But yeah, aside from that one optional super enemy, which is just weird in terms of health bar, this has been very, very fun. It's just like that one specific enemy feels very wonky and weird compared to everything else. But, like, uh, the level designs, the level aesthetics, the overall performances, I feel like Cinder's voice is, like, fine. It's just the line reading could use a few extra readings overall. Like, again, didn't expect Ignitus to just explode to get Cinder and Spyro on. I do like that Sparks... And Spyro split up to accomplish different tasks. Especially because Sparks really hasn't been doing a lot this game. Even in the previous games, he didn't really do that much. So it is kind of nice that Spyro and Sparks split up. And Sparks is actually going to do something that he is good at. Guiding Spyro around. Now he'll guide others to safety. <laughs> this looks like a neat game. Might have to actually play through the rest of the original Spyro Trilogy. Like, uh, the original Spyro Trilogy by Insomniac is very, very good. I personally recommend... Uh, if I remember correctly, the Reignited Trilogy is overall better across the board. Except for maybe... The third one? The third one might be better in the original. I forget. It's been a long time since I played the Reignited Trilogy. But uh, for the Legend of Spyro Trilogy, A New Beginning is really good. Eternal Night is kind of janky here or there. And so far, Dawn of the Dragon is really good, with the one exception of being that uh, that one singular optional enemy I just fought. But I, I like the story, but here's the, but it is funny because overall, I kind of enjoy the vibes and story of The Legend of Spyro a bit more, comparatively. It's just like, it just scratches that itch. It's just very, very fun and interesting and nice. Most of the time, last optional guy, notwithstanding. But yeah, I can't wait to see what comes next. Because uh, from the looks of things, it might just be Spyro and Cinder trudging along through <laughs> this doomscape to get to Malfor. But we'll have to wait and see. 
But I, I just like what this really does is make me wish that the Legend of Spyro could get a remake. Smooth out the story, give Cinder more prevalence in the second game, expand on the story here or there. And maybe, like, uh, do a reignited revoicing. Get Elijah Wood back, maybe. Because I still think Elijah Wood does a good job. No idea who would voice Sparks. Like, maybe Wayne Brady from the start, but... I don't know, I was like... <laughs> I don't know, it just feels weird, that <laughs> Sparks. I do enjoy Sparks for the most part, but... It's like, due to the changing voices, it gives his character a different vibe in each game. But yeah, I've just been enjoying this a lot. Just, it's really fun. It's really nice. And who knows, maybe next stream we'll actually meet Malfor, the first purple dragon. But until then, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings, has everything that I do. Edited content YouTube videos, which I need to give back to and actually make an effort to try and make happen. The streaming YouTube channel and Twitch streaming channel depending on your streaming preferences, and then all the streams get uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel for posterity and just easier watching in case, like, the internet dies or something so that there's just a clean recording for people to enjoy. And then... What else? If you want more art from me, like my little character in the corner, then I have a bunch of social medias that I post art to. And then if you want writing from me, I have a few sites that I post some stories I write to as well. And then for the very nice, very affluent, who are feeling extraordinarily kind, my Patreon is also linked, as it is just like a little donation box for people to throw some dollary dues my way. But I do believe that that will be it. So yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. So yes, bye-bye.